In just a few days, the city of Charleston will elect a new mayor. And this time, it's guaranteed to be a new face since, of course, Charleston Mayor Joe Riley is serving his last term. So it's important to know where your candidates stand on the key issues affecting you. I sat down with the candidates this week, and here's my interview with former city councilman and mayoral candidate Maurice Washington. What is your plan to relieve the flooding in the city of Charleston? Well, I'm glad you said you asked what is my plan to relieve because I don't think we could solve the problem uh, completely. We are the low country. Uh, but some of the things that we can do and do immediately is provide the proper maintenance to existing drainage systems. Uh, we, we have to do a better job. Before we start to invest in, in new infrastructure, let's take care of what we have currently. And uh, my goal, my objective is to ensure that we hire great uh, engineers, great planners, uh, uh, great uh, construction minds to deal with this drainage problem. We also have to uh, uh, put the brake on overdevelopment, particularly in low-lining uh, areas, uh, prevent further capping of wetlands. Uh, wetlands, in my judgment, is the first line of defense against flood water, storm water, uh, and then prioritize uh, where the investments, future investments, should be made. Drivers can often spend hours trying to get mm -hmm. into the city of Charleston, trying to get on the peninsula. How do you plan to ease traffic congestion without eliminating the character of Charleston streets? Well, you know, traffic congestion is a uh, region-wide problem, and it's going to require a regional approach, working across governmental sectors to get this uh, situation under control. Uh, I don't believe, uh, Carolyn, that we can construct or build our way out of these congestions. I think we have to manage growth and development. I think uh, land use planning should drive development as opposed to development driving land use planning. And that seems to be the, uh, the biggest problem right now. Once policy decisions are focused on where the growth will go, roads and transit can then follow, of course, in the right places. And there is more of my conversation with Mr. Washington you will hear what he says when I ask him who of the five candidates he would vote for if he were not in the race. His response is on our website, countonto.com.